Attach the legs to the projector. Do not tighten the screws all the way, ensuring that each leg can still freely rotate. To compensate for an uneven mounting surface of the projector housing, hand adjust the preassemble levelers to level each leg. Attach the universal plate to the legs. Make sure the arrows on the universal plate point in the direction of the screen. Some projectors have a single mounting hole. In that case, attach the universal plate directly to the projector. Attach the universal plate and tighten all the screws. Align the universal plate by eye as best as possible before the screws are tightened. Don't worry if the alignment is not perfect. Any imperfections will be corrected during picture alignment. Thread the JR3 body onto the pipe and stop when the arrows point towards the screen. Then lock down the thread rotation bolt. There are two bolts at the top for locking down the yaw rotation. These may be pre-tensioned for flush mount installation. AR3's open architecture allows for easy cable management. Installation can be simplified by pre-wiring the drops. Pre-wired drops will not interfere with the installation of the projector. Simply slide the projector into the JR3 housing and tighten the pre-installed thumb screw. On the opposite side of the thumb screw, Install at least one of the provided security screws. Each adjustment knob is clearly marked by the function that it performs. The knobs are also slotted for a Phillips number one screwdriver. After the projector is aligned, set the pitch and roll by tightening the respective set screws. If necessary, make the final micro adjustments by turning the adjustment knobs. A projector mounted with the JR3 can easily be removed for maintenance and bulb replacement. The proper alignment will be preserved in most cases. After reinstalling the projector, micro-adjust if it is necessary. <laughs>